Hello, my name is David Giannis, uh, Director of Rapid Prototyping and Advanced Technology here in Lagoon Niguel, Confluent Medical, formerly Interface Catheter Solutions. Um, Interface Catheter Solutions, now Confluent Medical, started with a blow molding machine um, to develop a coronary vascular balloon uh, for one particular uh, client. Uh, word got out that we created this machine and um, from there quite a few other companies started showing interest in our technology. In the beginning to sell a blow molding machine we had to develop the customer's balloons and transfer that technology to them. During this time we've developed a, an expertise in a sizing of materials, development of materials, as well as uh, blow molding programs um, to meet their sp specific specifications and tight tolerances. Our blow molding machine that we started off with was um, a rather um, uh, rudimentary machine in the beginning and quickly advanced into a state-of-the-art machine that you see here today. This is the eighth generation blow molding machine 3310. It's still the workhorse and the industry standard um, for all types of balloon applications within the anatomy. Um, we also have that, um, other machines that support the 3310, such as the CPS 1000, which is the Parison forming machine. It preforms the material before blow molding. During the beginning stages, between 1995 and uh, 1999, we developed an entire line of catheter development, catheter manufacturing equipment. Uh, starting, of course, with the blow molding machine, the 9506. From blow molding to parison forming to burst pressure testing, folding, wrapping, die necking, marker band swaging, gas pressure leak testing, we make just about every piece of equipment for catheter manufacturing. Um, primarily focusing on the coronary vascular, the peripheral vascular, neuro, um, uh, esophageal, uh, spinal, ENT, uh, a wide range of products. Over the years we've developed over 2,500 balloons and um, still to this day developing very unique um, non-symmetrical, um, very large, short diameter, large diameter balloons. Um, currently, our capabilities range from one millimeter spherical to up to 50 millimeters in diameter and lengths greater than 360 millimeters. We support lengths um, for our customers on the blow molding machine when we do sell a blow molding machine up to 250 millimeters. We do have um, some unique processes um, that have advanced the technology in around the world in coronary vascular as well as peripheral vascular. We've also have developed unique approaches in high pressure technology for peripheral vascular applications. Um, and we're still developing very unique processes that, that we often do share with our clients. With catheter manufacturing equipment, um, there is obviously a heightened level of uh, testing required for catheter manufacturing. We also make a, a whole line of destructive and non-destructive catheter testing equipment from burst pressure testing, ramp to burst, step to burst, fatigue, cycle testing, and then of course gas pressure leak testing using uh, a nitrogen gas, a dry clean uh, gas. Um, for finished product and then of course our destructive testing systems such as the PT3070 and the HPT1000 which is uses a um, water-based system, a water medium, which pressurizes the balloon with fluid. Um, you can either do a saline solution or um, heated water. Submerge the balloon or the balloon catheter in a bath at 37C. We have the capability of scanning the entire catheter or just the balloon itself, taking an entire profile of the balloon along the axis of it from neck to neck, from neck to the main cylindrical body down the cone and onto the proximal neck. What makes the PT3070 unique from other destructive testing systems is you have the ability to do 
pressure versus diameter and length, as well as volume versus diameter length, or a combination of the two. For a smaller footprint, a more um, simple system that just uses as a pressure medium, it's the HPT-1000, which also has the ability to conduct cycle testing, fatigue testing, step to burst, ramp to burst, and then of course, um, uh, whatever customized program you prefer. Also, the balloons are placed in a heated water bath at 37 degrees Celsius or higher, whichever you choose, um, for doing destructive testing. Um, it's plotting the curve, uh, so you get the entire compliance curve of the balloon up to destructive test, bursting the balloon. As the industry leader, Confluent Medical is committed to advancing technologies in blow molding as well as catheter manufacturing equipment. As such, we are continually working with our clients to improve processes and advance the industry as a whole. For more information, please visit our website at confluentmedical.com.